Those who are supposed to defend the values of the West are co-opted by a vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and therefore poverty. I say out with these f***ing libs! The fuera! Man, that Mexican guy sure is making a lot of sense! You can't call him Mexican. He's from Argentina. That's racist. Oh, couldn't tell you where he's from. I just thought what he's saying was smart. You can't just stereotype people. Besides, that guy is so rude. Listen to this guy. He's way more respectful. Contrary to what the gentleman from Argentina said. See? Gentleman. That's a nice word. People of color, our friends in the LGBTQIAP2 plus community, birthing people and children, the global poor, dog moms or dog birthing persons. Very respectful. Have suffered from centuries of repression under capitalism. What? Capitalism? In South America? When? Now that some are voting for people like that man over there, we must save them from their own poor choices. I urge you all to support a global revolution that puts us in charge. He was very polite. Wow, what a measured way of saying that he and his elitist friends at the WEF should have the power to control what poor third world people get to do. And he's calling them dumb for electing a guy who isn't a socialist. Even though South America has had almost nothing but socialist governments for a century. You don't find that a little patronizing? Yeah, okay, a little bit. People often confuse the difference between the right words, being polite, and saying the right things and actually promoting good ideas. This guy might be speaking in a way that sounds nice, but what he's saying isn't actually nice at all. He's up there talking about controlling millions of other people's lives, stripping away their freedom, and overriding their own sovereign choice as voters because he sees them as inferior. Lacing his statements with trendy buzzwords and pseudo-sensitive terminology doesn't make the core of what he's saying any less contemptuous. Or contemptible. I know I could probably learn to speak better, but this is like watching a wolf put on a fluffy bunny costume and the audience not being able to tell the difference. Yeah, okay. I guess I was really listening to how he was talking instead of focusing on what his words really meant. It's too bad so many people with bad ideas can sound so sweet. You know, you don't think we need to print more money? Let's see who wins a boxing match, you fat idiot. Where am I? Well, not all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it. So you subscribe so we can continue. Thank you.